morning, peeps. So we're in the Critter Mobile. This thing's more awesome than the Batmobile. <laughs> but right now we have to drive all the way to Dumaguete and buy some ceiling fans. We need four ceiling fans for Alex's house. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, you know that during the typhoon, a bunch of houses were destroyed, villages, and a lot, a lot of subscribers donated to rebuild Alex's house, but not just rebuild his house, how it was, where it's gonna fall over the next storm, but uh, in such a way that it's super strong and it'll be a community storm shelter for the next typhoon, uh, which one just passed us. So, you know, they're every year. Uh, but it's really strong and uh, you know, it's really big where they can live in it year round, but when there's a big storm, the other villages that live in, or villagers that live in little Nipah huts and stuff, they could come in there, throw down some mattresses and ride out the storm. So it's done. It only took like two, two and a half months to build this uh, pretty decent sized little house. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much done. I just have to go buy the, uh, the ceiling fans. We need four. And we need one with the light for the big living room and the, the other three are just the, the bedrooms. So they don't need lights, I guess. So we gotta go get that. And honestly, we were gonna go uh, uh, furniture shopping, because he also needs couches. But I think we're just gonna give him the money and let them do it because I don't feel right about just picking out furniture for somebody else, you know. I don't need to be, I don't need that much control. I'll let him uh, pick out what furniture he wants. And it's really fun for his wife, you know, she's out there cleaning and helping paint and you know, it's the best house they've ever had. So it's probably fun for them to go furniture shopping for the first time and anyway anyway we got a long drive 20 minutes all the way to Jim and get the I hate going there but let's get going so we're on the highway and we're now in Bakong and if you've never been here Bakong is a little town between Dawid and Jim and get the. to me it's just an extension of Jim and get the, you know uh, Dawid is the small little paradise but you gotta drive through Bacog along the highway to get to Dumaguete. Anyways, you guys, I gotta give a huge shout out to my Patreon members. Uh, we're, if you're on there, you know we're getting a lot more active. We're posting in Patreon for patrons only uh, twice, no, once a week, every Saturday. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a behind the scenes of Critter Hunter episodes. So. Uh, we'll interview the team members, we'll film more of Alex's house, uh, do show a lot of the behind the scenes filming and stuff like that, preparing, talking about cameras and stuff like that. And yeah, I just want to give a huge shout out and thanks to uh, the Patreons that have stuck with us. And yeah, if you guys want to join, I'll put my Patreon link down below. So, uh, we're at City Hardware getting the fans for Alex's house, and she told me she watched our videos because... I know, because I know, Araula. You know Araula they're there? From, yeah. They're from Bindui. Yeah. So they have land, and they watched our videos when we did the relief trips to Bindui. But you're also Miss Miss Dumaguete. Uh, 1965. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that years back, years back. I mean, my husband is proud, and some of the people in the embassy like Mr. People he said Julie you are humble you've never told me that you were the former Miss Dumaget I said that was way back way back beauty, in beauty the... queen 1960s 1965 so she's from Bindoy so we got a lot of memories of Bindoy no, actually I'm not from Bindoy I'm from Sambuanga Mindanao oh, um, now you guys have land in uh, Bindoy yeah we live we'll, we'll in Bindoy yeah, it was hit hard. It was the, it was hit hardest in the typhoon. We went there like four or five times. 
That was, uh, that was pretty crazy. That's why we thank you for what you have done. Even though we were in the States, we still follow your blog, you know. Oh, that's nice and to hear, nice to hear. We, we were anxious whenever, what's the next, what's the next? You know, <laughs> see, that's Bindoy, what I said. Bindoy was our, that's where we went the most because it yeah. was completely... It was heart feeling like, like to see, you know. Yeah. Huh? So we found the fans, we bought all four fans, and there's a little secret we have that we discovered uh, because we went to City Hardware, is that, is that what it's called? City yeah. Hardware? Here in Dimmagedley by Robinson's, and there's no parking. It's impossible. I hate the traffic parking in Dimmagedley. But anyways, there's, there's a... Uh, okay, there's a little car wash next to City Hardware, where obviously you can park if you're getting your car washed. So we left our car here, went shopping, got all the fans, and come back, and we got a clean car. But actually, we still have to wait, and they have a little coffee shop where you can get coffee and shakes and stuff. So that's awesome. If I don't have to look for parking, my car gets clean inside and out for like 500 pesos. I get a coffee. Good times. Now we gotta go to, all the way to Alex's house and give him his friends. Well, the new house is almost done, so we're gonna check it out. I haven't been here in a week and they did a lot. Hello, Shy. Hello. Let's go check it out because it's. I think they got tile and finish, uh, paint and everything. So gotta paint the ceiling. <laughs> nice house, Alex. Yeah. Really nice. Big. Yeah. Can't believe how big. Oh, here the, the roof has been painting, painted. Yeah. Hard to Oh, nice. Fancy. Fancy. They put it on a new window. I'm glad they did that one. Yeah, me too. Alex, yeah. we, got, we got some fans. Yeah. Ceiling fans in the car. So, man, you guys subscribers made this happen. Brian Davies helped me uh, get this going after the typhoon. And it's huge. It's not a regular house. It's the strongest one in this barangay. People, we're going to have extra mattresses and stuff. So, you know, they can live here year round. And but if there's, when there's another typhoon, we can throw down these mattresses in this huge room, plus the bedrooms. And a lot of other people from these bamboo huts and stuff can uh, come in his little shelter. The roof is, you know, that's the hardest part to make typhoon proof, but uh, we had a whole one piece custom made steel roof brought in from Cebu after they knew the dimensions. Um, of course it has, uh, I guess, hurricane anchors, whatever you want to call them, that tie the roof into the solid concrete walls. And those are tied with steel down into a thick concrete foundation. So really strong, everything is, it's like a bunker. I mean, it's like a normal house in the US, but still. Uh, really strong for Philippines. And then, uh, yeah, we got that, we got the windows. I think they're almost done painting. I'd like to get some like shutters that can drop down over the windows if the hurricane's coming. The biggest thing, one of the biggest thing is we cut down these huge trees. Can you show this? Um, that was a massive, massive tree. If you guys saw some of the, uh, you know, first videos during the typhoon, this tree was massive. Another tree right there where the house is now and all around. So no matter how strong a house you have, if this tree falls on it, you're screwed. So that's another thing we did because it could have fell on that house as well. So yeah, I'm glad for that. Now we can plant different trees. No more mango trees, they're super brittle. We'll put some traveler trees and some small stuff around here. But I'm really happy. If you guys are building in uh, Dowin, 
or did we get the any of these areas contact me because our contractor really he's one of the best in uh the whole area he built Gatan's house this one uh resorts uh we just saw a mansion yesterday that he built so yeah message me about that this is the neighborhood where uh, or the village where alex lives and Here comes Alex's house and it's connected to the house where he had before. Still here. So the four ceiling fans. You want a one with the light, a big, yeah. big one with the light for the living room. Okay. And then the three other ones with no light, basically. Yeah. 52 inch or 50, yeah. Oh, so they're all big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we tried to get the smaller one because it's cheaper, but they were out of stock. Yeah. So we had to get the big ones, but it'll be cooler anyway. So we'll set them here and... These guys can set them up someday, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we gotta go furniture shopping. So yeah, huge shout out to all you guys that donated for this uh, house and the rest of the typhoon. We actually met people. Well, you guys just saw, we just met somebody at the uh, City Hardware from Bindoy and they were thanking us. So basically thank you guys for donating for the typhoon victims. All right, it's too hot, let's do this. Are you happy, Alex? Yeah, I'm so very happy for this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah.